Hey guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, and Star Trek Voyager, Seventh Reckoning, issue number two of four from IDW. This is a very thought-provoking book, and I'm enjoying what I'm reading. Let's get talk about who did this book. We'll talk just a little bit about the book itself. So the writer is Dave Baker, the artist is Angel Hernandez, the colorist is Rhonda Pattinson, uh, Pattinson, excuse me, and the letters are by Neil Uyataki. Uh, but to, but to be, I think that's about it. Oh, the, this is part two of four. Concrete and iron are no match for flesh and bone. That is a really freaking long title, and the award goes to... So, the Vesh, these four-armed creatures, are... They're basically planning a riot. Some of them, at least. Some of the, 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 the leaders of them. But there's also other Vesh who think that they are dangerous, that that guy is dangerous for that particular reason. And it's weird seeing that the other guys, the uh, the Khazar, actually know about this. That's the aristocracy right now. They actually know about this. I'm curious to see where this is going to go. Because I have to keep in mind that this is a Star Trek story. If this was Star Wars, I'd have hung up immediately. I'd have just put the book away and be like, dude, I'm done. Because it is really wordy. And I have to keep on reminding myself that even though Seven of Nine is the only character that for the most part I'm seeing in this story, it is in fact a Star Trek book. So it's going to be more thought-provoking than anything else. And while I really could use a little action, I get the feeling we're going to get more than enough in the next issue. The question is, in fact, the next two issues should actually be pretty entertaining. As far as this one, this was the very slow, very thought-provoking one, and that's a little tiny bit frustrating. I think that a little more would have been nice in this book, because what we got wasn't enough, in my opinion. This was an especially slow issue, and I understand this is where a lot of the... The plot has to really develop. We got the intro of the previous issue. This is where everything's got to develop. The next issue, we come to a climax. And then issue four, the final issue, that's where we obviously get our conclusion, our resolution to the story. The trick is that there's a way to do it. There are many ways to do it where there's actually some action. It's something actually keeping you going. They kind of did that, though. Because I don't feel like I could leave this book if I want to. I can't quit you, Billy. I can't quit you. Um, the first page or so of this book is very similar to the previous issue's first page or so. Several characters walking in and seeing the Voyager characters, see if I can actually find that page without wrecking anything. Oh, for crying out loud, just give me the damn page. I don't think they're going to give me the page, guys. There we go. It's right in here. So somebody walking in, and it kind of looks like it's the um, the Makai. For them, these guys just walking in when a couple of people in here already hurt, and then resistance is futile. Seven is in that form. Now, is this some kind of a memory? Is this from the Scorpion episode? Is this from... Maybe... Uh, it's hard to really go by this. The, the Makai were pretty much finished for the most part in the first or second episode, right? When Chakotay became the captain and Balana became the, the chief of engineering. So it's really weird for me right now. But I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that first one. And make no mistake, I don't care how good the resolution of this book is. If it doesn't have something to do with that, if that isn't a major key factor to what I'm about to read in issue four, I'm going to call this book the biggest bust of 2020 because you don't show the same scene twice without any explanation and then not really do anything with it. You dig? That's not a preamble. That's not some kind of, oh, here's the things that happened before. No, 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 no. Not like that. So I'm really hoping this has something to do with something, because right now, I'm on board. Even with a boring as hell issue, I'm on board. If nothing else, then for that. But I do want to see where this rebellion is going and everything else. It's interesting, Septa, the, the head of the aristocracy, she says something. She says, besides the fact that we know such and such, she also says that 
the other guys, well, there's a secret there with the Vesh. It's thought-provoking. And it makes you wonder, is there too much of a vengeance, or is this a vengeance thing at all? But it's thought-provoking, and that's what a good Star Trek book should do. So as wordy as this may be, it still just seems right. Guys, that's going to be it for me. Go ahead and check this comic book out or wait for the trade. That's up to you. But, you know, there's this really awesome Janeway variant cover, I'm saying. Or you can go with the comic book you want. It's up to you. But for now, that's it for me. Professor Bell Comic Book University. Like the video, watch an ad. Class dismissed.